Abiogenesis is the origin of life from non-living matter. How is it that you got so intensely involved in the um, origin of life debate? I saw a presentation on carbohydrates. A carbohydrate is an organic... It was just, just utterly amazing. David Berlinski was standing out on a veranda and I started talking to him. I said, David, I mean, this stuff is so amazing. He says, why don't you write an article about this? Just write an article about the things that you're seeing that other people might not see. I started to look into evolution and then I wanted to track this thing back. And so I went back, went back and found out that there was this whole area of abiogenesis. And so I started to ask my synthetic chemist colleagues, I said, how is it proposed that life began? How did, how did this whole thing start? And they directed me to the work of Albert Eschenmoser, some organic chemist that had worked in this. And a few sent me other papers and I started reading these. I said, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, this doesn't work. You could, you, this would never happen on an early earth. You did this in a laboratory and even doing it in a laboratory your results showed you couldn't do it. So if anything, it showed how it couldn't have been done. Look how easy it is to make great globs of this stuff. The molecules of life. Most of the literature shows how life could not have formed because there's so much human intervention, so much setting of conditions that this could never have formed. Then I wrote this article for David Berlinski and it just blew up.